the instructions again going over the stuff he talked about in the, the, the briefing earlier uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh now we're about to see some action and you look over at Derek Hamlin, and he looks like he is oh, ready to go. Oh, he looks like a bull just getting ready to get out there. He's got a lot of energy that he's just holding on to. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And there they go. It's a he, nice Brazilian he, takedown. Yes, by yes. So I guess he answered our question for us. Nice. Great exchange coming off of Luke Saunders with a lot of energy. Hamlin climbs up nice. He has a triangle started. Yes. Kind of nice. locked it in backwards. I'd like to see him switch it up a little bit. Kind of switch his feet. There you go, just like that. Let's see what happens. Uh, he keeps, he <laughs> keeps going to the opposite <laughs> the leg. Wrong way. Keep, I, I would love to see Derek switch it up and go to the other leg yeah, as far as that triangle. You, you can finish this way. It's just a little bit harder because when your knee is pointed outward, it takes that pressure off of the carotid artery with the shoulder. And the thing is, he's probably done the triangle how many times, but, but now we're in a he's, fight. He's getting hit. Exactly. With now a we're in a lot fight of repetition and from getting Luke. punched. Exactly. Things well, change. And, and Luke Sanders is landing a lot of shots to the body, and that really does mess with your brain. You kind of forget that muscle memory that you've developed over the years. Well, and here we are about a minute in. And <laughs> well, and Derek's now got the triangle in a little bit more accurate, yes, a little bit more secure. Little more correctly, still on. on it, it's kind of the, the well, I was say, area. well, and, and that, that goes on to what Luke was doing with putting that pressure on, making it difficult for Derek to really sink that foot down into the knee and tighten up that triangle. Well, here he is, kind of almost in a north-south position, looks like. Now, the, you know, that, that aggressive nature yeah. that I'm seeing out of Luke Sanders is impressive. He's throwing shots from every single position. He's doing a great job getting back to his feet. And continuing to throw shots. I mean, you look he, at... He's making this takedown hard. Oh, you know what? It, and he's ending up on top. It dry, that pressure, he just drove through and kind of pushed Hamley over. Or Hamley oh. over and, and, and still throwing shots from inside the guard. Oh, beautiful it. hammer fist. He's making that guard game uncomfortable. No, Luke Sanders is doing a great job of being aggressive and accurate at the same time. And he's doing a great job trying to climb over the legs, staying... Like I said, active. This yep. is a very active top game that we're seeing. Absolutely. Not necessarily submissions, but punches. No, yeah, he's staying out. He's, he's earning points. He's definitely earning points for the judges because he's in a dominant position because the guard is not necessarily a a, a submissive position. No, You're not no, dominant no. because you pull guard. You're only dominant if you can do something when you pull guard. Yes. And Luke is definitely keeping that from happening. Yes, and, and, and he's the one being the aggressor. He's the one landing those heavy heavy blows. Absolutely. Controlling the fight with 10 oh, seconds left yes, in the round. absolutely. And good attempt at passing that leg and trying to get that half, that half mount position, and he is just dropping those hammer fists. And there Ooh. you go. We're going to see a round number two of this fight, and that I will tell you right now, that has been the most exciting first round of a more than first round fight. And I'm going to say it that way because there, there were some fights that ended in the first round that were pretty dang exciting. But, you know, that one going the distance with that much aggression, that was an exciting first round. Well, and I'm taking a look at both corners, and it almost looks like that Luke... Um, at the end of the day, he's the one with the better gas tank right now, and he was the one on top throwing blows. But kind of look at, I mean, Derek was on bottom working and working and working. Yeah, Derek was working, but man, Luke was just making everything that Derek tried to do difficult. Yeah, well, and, and pointless, honestly, without sounding disrespectful to Derek Hamlin, because he was working, he was trying to stay intelligent, but every time that he would start transitioning or climbing up and moving for a submission, those shots that Luke was throwing so repetitively, they were making Derek mess up. They were making him kind of forget, like, going the opposite direction with the triangle choke. Like you said, I guarantee he's done that hundreds of times uh -huh, in the gym, uh -huh. and he knows how to do it. But when you're getting hit that much, it does mess with your brain. It, it kind of stops you from being able to critically work your way through things. Well, and it comes out, and it's like, <laughs> no punches thrown. Let's just clinch up. Let's go right back go. to the grapple. Yeah, we can go back to it. Nice knees. A great job. Right there, Hamlet kind of went to go for that ankle pick, and uh, the pressure that Look. Luke Sanders put on him just put him right to the ground and right back to what we were seeing nice at the end of the first round. Grabbing his neck. Luke put a lot of pressure. 
A lot of pressure on Derek Hamlin right now. Well, it, it was like, here, if you want to grapple, I'll grapple with you. And then he landed a nice knee or so, and he ended up backwards. Right. Well, and, and now you've got Hamlin going for that leg and trying to suck him out. You're going to see Hamlin try and... I, I would expect to see Hamlin try and go knee on belly here. Yeah, secure so he, this position to yes. better. Yeah, he's, doing it. he's trying to control that wrist. And, and get, him able to get that knee down and stand himself right back up. And, and you can see his levels. It, you, you can see Jeremy yelling at Derek what he needs to do. And when he told him to change levels, he did it. Suck those legs out. Great takedown by Derek Hamlin. Well, and, and he's, he is right there in that corner right now. You can hear exactly what Jeremy's telling him to do. Yes. Yeah. And uh, stretching that leg out. Watch for him to kind of get that right leg underneath and go for that tr that uh, shoulder lock right there. Yes, yes. I could definitely see it. Or that the way that he was in that sit-out, like... he tried going for that, that shoulder lock, and now he's going to go for a pass. So it stopped about halfway through. Uh, Luke's able to stop it up and get him in the half guard or prevent Derek from getting to the full mount and put him in the half mount position. Well, and I keep glancing over there, and Jeremy is very, very active right now in the corner. Oh, no, Jeremy, Jeremy's an active coach, you know. Like, he, he doesn't let his guys just work their way through things. He is seeing things, and he's telling them what to do. But right now, I don't know if he's effectively going to be able to tell Derek what to do where Derek's listening to every single step of the way because Luke is making it very difficult for that guy. Yes, yes. And, and again, it, it is early on. It's not like these guys got a ton of experience here. No, I mean, but Derek did a great job right there of kind of flopping that leg over and hooking it under so that he can get that full mount. So great job by Derek Hamlin. Luke trying for the, uh, the bump and roll. Yes, right there. yes. I, I like how flat Hamblin is in this mount position. Uh, I like that I mean, shoulder I, I, I would like to see him sit up and start earning some points right now. Yes. Because, you know, the round is almost over. I'd like to see him sit up and start punching. But at the same time, he is ending the fight in a dom or sorry, ending the round in a dominant position with complete control right now. And there we go. I, I think if it hadn't like been for tired. that I think if it hadn't been for that ten second warning, you would have seen Tyler stand him up because while he was mounted, he was not actively working for anybody. Oh, well, and I think you saw why. Yeah. I mean, you saw as soon as that oh, no, yeah, he's, he's tired. He, he's been having he's, to earn. Both of these guys have earned every single victory that they've gotten so far in this fight. Yeah. And, and they've all been incremental victories, but they, they've been working for each of them. Hamblin with getting that mount. Uh, Sanders with, with stopping some of those takedowns and just throwing all of those shots in there. Like, this has been a great fight back and forth. Very, very taxing fight. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a grueling fight for both of them. You can see them in the corners, both of them just kind of, you know, <laughs> trying to regain their breath, regain their... Like, where is my wind, and where can I find it, and how much is it going to cost me? See? Because... <laughs> there we go. Trying your best to listen, get a, get a little bit of water in you, yeah. get back out there. You know, a lot of people watch this at home thinking, you know, I could get in there, and I can do that, no problem. These guys are wussies, whatever. No. They've just been fighting for six minutes, and they've been fighting their guts out for six minutes. I don't like doing things that I enjoy for six minutes. I like standing for six minutes, hard, let wow. alone but fighting and putting everything out there. Every single one of their muscles, their lungs, their heart, everything has been moving as much as it can be right now, and these guys are drained, and it shows. Well, uh, Derek Hamlin looks a little bit more fatigued. But he did try to get yep. his take on see yep. if he can get it. Well, he did the right thing, putting him against the cage, too. And right Luke, there by Jeremy again. Luke's doing a good job of putting that pressure, but you don't see those shots coming off of Luke like you did in the first and second round. No, 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 not nearly. First and second round in this position, you got Luke throwing punch, continuous punch, 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 punches punch. to those ribs, which, as you can see, have done some damage to at least the skin of Derek Hamlin. Uh, he painted him a little bit. <laughs> yep, great transition. Good, good job. He's got his back. And uh, he's got this oh, choke, and there's the tap, ladies and gentlemen. That was fatigue. Yeah. Uh, Luke Sanders beautifully scrambled yeah. around, took the back, and I don't think that Derek had yeah. the energy yeah. in the tank to defend that choke. Well, um, he's laying down, and, and, and Dr. Ali there talking to him. Yeah, you know, I see him right now answering them. Um, he's coherent. He's just yeah. exhausted. Yeah, and, and great job, Luke Sanders. You set that up perfectly.
That was a that was a beautiful finish to what's been an exciting fight tonight. Beautiful, beautiful fight. High energy, way to stay in the fight. I mean, that guy comes after you and just keeps going. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know what? I am excited to see where this guy goes, and both of them. I'm excited to see Hamlin get back in here and do it again and try and, you know, even out that record. And I'm excited to see what Luke Sanders does coming off of this win next time he gets in the cage. Agreed. Agreed. All right, let's take it to the cage and make this thing official. All righty. Come on, you guys. Make some noise. Talking to my friends at Urban Pond. They were paying attention to that one. It's definitely in the running. We can get both these guys up. Seconds in a round, a number three tap out did a rear naked choke out of the black corner. Luke Sanders. All right, I'm here with your winner, Luke Sanders. Dude, that was a phenomenal fight. You were throwing punches from everywhere. How are you feeling right now? Motherfucking amazing. Let's go. I think he's excited. Hey, did anything happen in that fight that caught you off guard? Man, that motherfucker's tough. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But we did this shit, hey, yeah! Man, you got a lot of energy for someone that just went three rounds. I can't believe it. Is there anyone you want to thank tonight? Yes, of course. I want to thank my God, my higher power, first and foremost. Second of all, my daddy's my biggest supporter, whether he knows it or not. Louisiana, I love you. Houston, I love you. Salt Lake City, baby, to a man. Oh, baby, what's up? Are you going to come back and do this again? Hell yeah, me and John Henderson going to do this shit again, baby. Let's do it. All right, man. Everyone give it up for your winner, Luke Sam.